Hi everyone, welcome to AKT's quarterly release webinar. My name is Danny and I'm AKT's head of technical solutions in the HR Cloud practice. We will spend some time deep diving into this quarter's hot topic, which is the new candidate relations management. We hope that by the end of this webinar, you'll have a comprehensive view of the technical upgrades, as well as a useful, practical set of tips on how to make these work for you, best for you. As a recruiter, you need to find the right employee for each position, internally or externally. Candidate relationship management is a great strategy to engage with your candidates and should be a part of your recruiting, recruiting process. Having a database of, or talent pipeline where you can search for pre-screened candidates avoids having to search from scratch and reduces the cost per hire and the time to fill. As I mentioned earlier, the new candidate relationship management capabilities are a favorite in this release, not only for AKT, but for many of our customers who are on an aggressive talent acquisition program. In July, AKT hosts the Future of Work, our annual conference with 500 HR leaders from leading organizations. A key theme revolves around the phrases, skill gap and war of talent. Both of these phrases are embedded into every blog post a recruiter reads or in every talent acquisition meeting or webinar. You simply can't escape it. What we cover in, at the conference and what Success Factors covers in this release is how, in, how introspective have recruiters been when, when it comes to skills gap and the war of talent. How are recruiters changing to meet the demands of the role today. The Q2, to, the Q2 releases delivers an initial release of the CRM capabilities as a part of our SAP SuccessFactors recruiting solution. We focus on data management and organization, as well as content strategy. With these capabilities, you can nurture, attract, and recruit top talents more effectively. So let's dive into showing you how Success Factors is addressing this in this quarter. As I said, as a part of the first in a series of CRM releases. So this quarter, Success Factors released its initial feature of the candidate relationship management functionalities within the recruiting management, focusing on the recruiter's user's experience. This includes talent pools, a comprehensive candidate profile, using landing pages to drive highly specialized traffic, a set of consolidate, consolidated search for both internal and external candidates, and targeted communication and campaign setup. What are the prerequisites and costs for this feature? So you are required to have a recruiting, the recruiting management in place as well as the recruiting marketing in order to leverage these new functionalities. Once you have these prerequisites in place, your system admin can simply enable it with no additional cost. So let's review the, the, the first topic, which is the talent pool. Talent pools are groups of contacts who are who may be suited for various job opportunities. Recruiters and hiring managers can search these as a more targeted method of candidate sourcing and management. The talent pools are a great way to group candidates together for team filtering, search, and managing. Until today, companies used to create fictive requisitions in order to maintain groups of candidates to engage or to send emails to. Using these talent pools, the new talent pool, this is no longer needed. Drilling into some you know, nice features in the talent pool screen. So some of the most effective features here are filtering candidates using either basic or advanced filters, sorting the candidates displayed according to various columns, and adjusting the displayed column, the displayed content to show the columns you are 
that are more relevant to your needs. There are three important buttons in the talent pool. The first one is the take a, the, the action options, which allows you to either share or edit the talent pool. The second one is the column display option, which opens a screen for adjusting the displayed content as you see on the right side. And the last one is the create talent pool button. Once you click this, you, once you click it, uh, uh, you will have an option to insert the uh, information describing the talent pool, like talent pool name and description, talent uh, pipeline status structure. We will discuss that in a second. And the default candidate status where, where you indicate the initial status of a candidate when added to this talent pool. In addition, you'll have to define whether the talent pool is public or private. Public talent pools are shared with everyone having permissions to the talent pool feature, again, based on the role-based permission changes or adjustments. While private talent pools can be visible only to, owner, to the owner himself or to people with whom the owner shared the talent pool with. The last action after creating the talent pool is to actually share it with other people or with other groups. And again, we will discuss that in the following slides. A few words about the pipeline status structure. So following the creation, you'll need to define the pipeline structure. You can define the relevant statuses needed for managing the candidates within a talent pool. This was requested by our customers to keep track of the candidate life cycle and to create more targeted actions, campaigns, and communications with the relevant candidates in the talent pool. Each talent pool can have a different pipeline structure depending on the specific need of this specific talent pool or role. Going back to sharing, so once uh, uh, sharing is a talent pool, sharing a talent pool is a nice feature. The owner is the only one who can do that. After sharing a talent pool, users with the appropriate permissions will be able to view the talent pool and to add candidates to it, but will not be able to edit the talent pool itself or to further share it with other people. The owner is always able to unshare a talent pool with a specific user. Another great option is sharing of sharing is sharing with recruiting groups, which can be used to share the, the talent pool with them. The owner can perform the same share and unshare action with a group of people instead of doing that with specific individuals. The most suitable, this is most suitable for companies having multiple recruiting teams searching for the same profiles. Each team can create its own local pool and share it with the other teams, thus creating more visibility to more relevant can candidates worldwide. Uh, the following actions are available on the, mem on the members in a talent pool. You can view the resume, you can forward to a colleague, forward to a job requisition, send emails, add to another talent pool, change the status, again, as a part of the talent pool pipeline, and remove from a talent pool. Candidate searches have been enhanced to search for candidates in, a, in talent pools as well as fields from candidate profile extension. A new action to, to add selected candidates to a talent pool is also, is, is also available. So now, searching for candidates with, with talent pools attributes are a great way to filter and search candidates in general. In addition, you can search for candidates with certain attributes 
then select one select one many or all candidates from us from the search results and add them to a talent pool after searching for the candidates you can simply add the the candidate to other talent pools adding the candidates adding the candidates to a talent pool can be done also via the candidate record as well as a part of the improvements in the comprehensive candidate profile there is a new option to email candidates directly all correspondence details are now presented in a new section called Com Correspondence Portal. In addition, there is a new section presenting the talent pools the candidate is a member of. And the last addition to the candidate profile is the talent pool information section. It is visible only for the recruiting teams and not for the candidates themselves. Apart from, you, apart from viewing the talent pools the candidate is a member of, you can also add a candidate to an additional talent pool from the same section. The talent pool search, as you can see on the screen, the talent, the talent pool search list will present your own pools, pools shared with you by others, and other public uh, pools available for all. Here is a screen which presents uh, the, comp the correspondence part where you can see all the emails and all the other correspondence done or uh, uh, done by or from or to the candidate, as well as the email button presented at the top. So to summarize the topic, I'd like to reiterate on the benefits of embedding CRM capabilities within your recruiting process. Apart from the nice improvements in the recruiter's user experience and effective processes, it is now possible to execute recruiting programs and campaigns by using targeted communications and build valuable candidate data to increase conversion rates and shorten the time to fill. This is just the initial release in what will be a five more dedicated releases in the candidate relationship management functionalities, as you can see on screen. The screenshot above, the screenshot presents uh, the, the roadmap planned for uh, each one of the functionalities. In the former slide, as is in this one, you can see all these new functionalities as planned. The coming releases will be more focused on the communication capabilities and creating a more robust campaign functionality. With that, those are the major highlights in the Q2 2018 release. Thank you for taking the time with us today.